The space station with the name that means heavenly place began its uncontrolled free fall earlier this year. There had been concerns about just where it would land and when. It's about the size of a school bus crashing into the southern Pacific Ocean near Tahiti just after 8 o'clock last night. Experts estimate about 90% of the station burned up upon re-entry to the Earth's atmosphere, but debris is still scattered over 1,000 square kilometers. Radar stations clock the space station at more than 27,000 kilometers an hour as it entered the atmosphere. Experts also say the spacecraft posed little risk to people on the ground, suggesting that you were more likely to win the lottery than being hit. The chances? Less than one in a trillion. But it has happened. 20 years ago, a woman in Tulsa, Oklahoma, was hit in the shoulder by a piece of a rocket's fuel tank when she was out for a walk. And this isn't the largest piece of space junk to have free fallen to Earth. That honor belongs to Russia's Mir space station 17 years ago. This is 680's Jamie Pulfer for City News.